As a student of criminal justice, I'm dedicated to helping the victims of crime seek justice. In our justice system today, the principle of let the punishment fit the crime requires that the level of punishment be appropriate with the severity of the crime. But how far will we go to satisfy our philosophies of retribution or seek vengeance against heinous acts? 72% of the first 325 DNA exoneration cases were wrongfully convicted by eyewitness misidentification. That's 235 cases, including 20 on death row. Have you ever known of or heard about someone who was wrongfully convicted? I've always been a proponent of the death penalty. I have no problem putting someone to death for committing any act deserving of capital punishment. But two glaring problems have impacted my views on the matter and have led me to think twice about my resolve, the innocent and the huge costs. For the purposes of our discussion today, we'll focus on the innocent and more specifically, the Innocence Project. Those that have been exonerated have spent an average of 14 years in prison for a crime they did not commit. The Innocence Project exonerates the wrongfully convicted, works to improve the laws, reform the courts, and offers support to those that have been exonerated. Let's begin with how the Innocence Project got their start. The Innocence Project was established in 1992 after a landmark study by the United States Department of Justice and the United States Senate with the aid of the Benjamin N. Cardoso School of Law in New York. It was determined that the incorrect identification by eyewitnesses was a factor in over 70% of wrongful convictions. In 2000, the governor of Illinois, George Ryan, appointed a 14-member commission on capital punishment to examine the death penalty and declared a moratorium on executions after a seemingly benign Northwestern University journalism class project uncovered malfeasance in a capital case. Further causes of wrongful convictions include eyewitness misidentification, invalid and improper forensics, false confessions and admissions, and informants and snitches. In 2002, the Commission presented these fundamental errors along with 85 recommendations of reform in their final report to Governor Ryan. Nine months after being presented with the Commission's findings, Governor Ryan pardoned 167 men from death row and called for a review of the death penalty from coast to coast, receiving worldwide attention. The Innocence Project represents clients seeking post-conviction DNA testing to prove their innocence. More than 300 people have been exonerated in the United States by DNA testing, including 20 who were serving time on death row. The state-of-the-art DNA technology provides unquestionable proof that many people are being wrongly convicted due to a flawed justice system. The mission of the Innocence Project is to free every innocent person who remains incarcerated and work to pass laws that prevent wrongful convictions. The Innocence Project is working to reform the flawed justice system and avoid future injustice. The Innocence Project is working with local affected official, elected officials, state legislatures, policymakers, and Congress to pass legislation that prevent wrongful convictions and make it easier for the innocent to get justice. Society benefits by improving fairness and accuracy in the criminal justice system. Victims and families get justice. Prosecutors and police have tools to do a better job. The public regains confidence in the justice system. And innocent people can avoid the tragedy of wrongful convictions. The Social Work Department of the Innocence Project 
partner with community-based organizations and government agencies to help exonerees transition back into society. The lessons learned from the DNA exonerations over the last 23 years by the Innocence Project have brought about reform of the criminal justice system. DNA testing used to exonerate innocent people have highlighted the main causes of wrongful convictions to include eyewitness misidentification, invalid and improper forensics, false confessions and admissions, and informants and, and snitches. As DNA testing became more precise, it revealed the flaws in the legal system and gave rise to concern across the U.S. The Innocence Project was established in 1992 to help prisoners who could be found innocent through DNA testing. Their mission is to exonerate the innocent, improve the laws, reform through the courts, and support the exonerated. In closing, the Innocent Project's docket is comprised of between 250 and 300 active cases at all stages of development, from just accepted to nearly exonerated.